Hello, my name is Rusty. I'm excited for our time with God. I never get bored spending time with him because he is always good. Amen. I want to pray that the Lord helps your heart to be eager to learn. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, for the scripture about Joseph and his life. And we saw all these things happen. We really praise you, God. You're precious and we love you. In Jesus' name, amen. It's interesting that Joseph took care of Jacob's family. Yeah, he did. While the famine was happening, his family was stuck. They came to Egypt and found Joseph and bought food. And now they came and moved there. There was still a famine left for four or five more years. I think it was five. But they came to Egypt and were nourished. Let's look at the verse. Genesis chapter 47, verse 12. And Joseph nourished his father and his brethren and all his father's household with bread according to their families. Verse 13, and there was no bread in all the land, for the famine was very sore, so that the land of Egypt and all the land of Canaan fainted by reason of the famine. What's my point here? It's our responsibility to take care of people and their needs. Joseph loved God, and he knew it was his responsibility to take care of his family, even though his brothers were against him. He still took care of them and provided for their needs until they were satisfied. Remember, God is always taking care of you. Believers, we need to really thank him that we are his children. Amen. Our Father is in control, and if the earth, the world is messed up, God will take care of your needs. Maybe you don't have much, but God will always take care of you. We really thank the Lord for his riches, for his supply. He owns the entire earth, and he will give you what you need to take care of you. Praise God. Remember the story of Elijah? There was a famine then for three years. They had no rain. And Elijah sat near a brook of water, and he would drink from it. And God sent bread to him. How? From birds. They would pick it up and bring it to him. And Elijah had food. Wow. That's amazing. That's why it's so important to really obey God. You'll be surprised. And I'm thankful that Joseph gives us a good example that we should take care of our families. I really thank God for the scripture that teaches us to follow him. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we really thank you, Lord, for your love, and your faithfulness to us. Thank you for Joseph and his life that influences us. He's influenced me. And when I meet him someday in heaven, I'm going to love to see him. We pray, Lord, that you would help us to look to the future with anticipation. You're precious and we love you. In Jesus' name, amen. God will always be with you wherever you go. My precious brothers and sisters in Christ, goodbye.